air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome to your um, little bonus reading. It's not like a full in-depth reading like my normal readings are. It's just a little bonus, um, see where everybody's at. So let's start with Gemini. What's currently on Gemini's mind? What's currently on Gemini's mind? One card for what's on Gemini's mind. One card for what's on Gemini's mind. Okay, so there's an injustice here. And then we have a three of wands. We could be talking about a Libra or an Aries. Um, so there's a divorce or there's an injustice of some sort. And then there's turning your back on the past. Um, looking towards the future and making action on a decision, leading the way, efforts paid off. There's um, a new adventure here. So there's a divorce, but you're you're excited about it because you're seeing it as a new adventure, or there's some sort of legal matter, or there's some sort of injustice, but you're. You're looking on the bright side here. You're seeing it as an adventure, somewhere to go, somewhere to travel, something new. So what does Gemini not want to think about? What does Gemini... So you don't want to think about the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So you don't want to think about reckless or out of control behavior. You don't want to think about moving too fast. You don't want to think about rushing things. You don't want to think about showing off. You don't want to think about being violent. You don't want to think about being a womanizer, a bully, a tyrant. You don't want to think about temper tantrums. You don't want to think about not finishing what you start. You don't want to think about jealousy. You don't want to think about having your finger in too many pies. You just want to look on the bright side. You want to be the optimist. Okay, so what's presently affecting Gemini? What's presently affecting Gemini? Right, so I have the Queen of Wands in the upright, so this is a fire sign. The Queen of Wands is very independent, outgoing, spontaneous, sexy, radiant, healthy. She takes charge of situations. She's determined, independent. This is you can do this. This is being open and sincere. This is um, a relationship that values freedom. This is... Um, all problems are faced head on. This encourages growth and self acceptance. Um, this is being a brilliant organized, organizer and a whirlwind of efficiency. She thrives on excitement and drama and loves a good fight. When the past is affecting Gemini's present, when the past is affecting Gemini's present, when the past is affecting Gemini's present. All right, so I have the sun and the five of swords, both in the upright. So the Sun card is the card of Leo. Uh, the Five of Swords would be the card of Aquarius, but that's back in your energy. That's back in this air energy, the winds of change. So with the Sun, um, there was um, shedding light on secrets, shedding light on betrayal. There's happiness, success, achievement, celebration, a rebirth. The sun has risen on a new day. The dark days are over. You're living in the, the moment and enjoying life. There's self-expression. There's travel. Um, they're saying yes to life. And then the five of swords is about conflict, tension, betrayal, win at all costs. There could have been abuse in the past, criminal violence, smugness, gloating, there could have been physical attacks, uh, major loss, a no-win situation. There's a lot of rebellious behavior, being unconventional and a revolutionary. 
but still there there wasn't that much conflict because these two elements are very like they go together very well they're very complementary it's all about action ambition ideas aggression energy communication um adventure Tem being temperamental, getting things done, uh, being a free spirit. So what in the future, what's coming towards Gemini in the future? What's coming towards Gemini in the future? Okay, so I have the two of pentacles, which is decisions about finances, juggling finances, weighing the pros and cons of situations, deciding between two people in a relationship. And then I have the Three of Wands in the reverse. And this came up before. This came up in what you're thinking about. And this is in the reverse. So we got in the upright with what you were thinking about. And now it's in the reverse for what's coming in the future. So what's coming in the future is there's a lack of foresight. There's delays. There's obstacles to long-term goals. And there could be an Aries coming towards you in the future if you're single. So why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? All right, because of the Page of Swords in the reverse. Um, so the Two of Pentacles is here because um, there's malicious gossip, spiteful, vindictive. There's spying behavior. Somebody's You're either spying on somebody else or they're spying on you. There's slander, arguments, backstabbing. Um, there's psychological abuse here. And it's coming from the past. Why is the Three of Wands here in Gemini's future? Why is the Three of Wands here? Okay, the Three of Wands is there because of the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands in the reverse is um, breaking habits. So you're breaking habits. You're moving into the future. You're leaving painful lessons behind you. But still, there's a shadow of these painful lessons this past mental abuse that you're taking into your future and that's giving you some lack of foresight lack of planning um, uh, obstacles to long-term goals because the shadow see that shadow of all those painful lessons are being they're burdening you in the future they're burdening you in the future well, Gemini, I hope that you uh, enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and happy birthday. And now we're going to go on to Libra. Hi, Libra. Thank you for joining me today. Um, so what is currently on Libra's mind? Okay, so there's injustices. We're in your energy. Uh, there could be a divorce. Uh there's lawsuits, inequality, things are going against you, um, feeling victimized, blaming others. There could be arguments, being falsely accused, um, corruption of some sort. Uh, what, uh, what does Libra not want to be thinking about? What is Libra trying not to think about? What is Libra trying not to think about? Okay, so Libra's trying not to think about conflict, tension, loss, betrayal, abuse, criminal violence, attacks, smugness, um, major losses, no win situations. Could be an Aquarius. When the present is um, going on for Libra, when the present is going Okay, so presently... We have the Three of Wands. So presently you're turning your back on the past. You're looking towards the future. You're taking action. You're making decisions. Your efforts have been paying off. Right? When the past is affecting Libra's present. When the past is affecting Libra's present. Okay, so I have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. There's challenges, there's not starting new things, there's setbacks, the past is haunting you. What else in the past is affecting Libra's present? And that's a Sagittarius energy. What else in the past is affecting Libra's present? 
What else in the past is affecting Libra's present? Okay, so I have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, and this is Gemini energy. This is being released from pain. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's new beginnings. Hey, what's coming towards Libra in the future? 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 Alright, so I have the Two of Swords in the reverse, and I have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So, the Two of Swords in the reverse is your energy, Libra. This is Libra energy. This is confusion. There's information overload. There's indecision. Um, the Ten of Cups in the reverse is a broken home or marriage and a misalignment of values. This is Pisces energy. Why is the Two of Swords here? Ooh. All right. Okay, so I have the Seven of Swords in the upright. Um, so there's betrayal, deceit, sneaky lie behavior. behavior. There's theft. Be careful who you trust because there's mind games here. And that's Aquarius energy. Um, so why is the Ten of Cups here in the reverse? Why is the Ten of Cups here in the reverse? Alright, so I have the Tower reverse, which is a major life event, and then I have the Knight of Wands in the upright. Um, so when the Tower reverses, that's actually advanced warning of sudden change getting out of the way, avoiding disaster, being tipped off, um, rebuilding your life, salvaging, there's damage control here. The Knight of Wands um, explores, he defends, he gets exercise, he admits that he has no intention of commitment or settling down, he's truthful, um, he explains his need for personal freedom, He's better at the beginning of relationships and values personal freedom above everything else. He loves to flirt. Uh, women swarm around him. He's a natural entertainer with a strong ego. He loves sports and action. He's sudden arrivals. He's great news. He's new beginnings. He doesn't follow through though. He's unfinished projects. He's a risk taker. He's impulsive. He has outbursts. He's mouthy. He flirts a lot. He's a ladies' man. He's very charming. He's sporty. He seeks constant attention. He has. He hates boundaries. He um, he's daring, passionate, fun, intense, energetic. He's a time to take action, but think first. Take a risk, but develop your potential. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. All right, and now um, we're on to Aquarius, and you're my last one, so this is great. I'm a little tired, if you can't tell. <laughs> so hi, Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we're just doing a little mini spread. Just a little bonus ring, it's not real in depth. So, what's currently on Aquarius's mind? What's currently on Aquarius's mind? Okay, so I have the three of pentacles in the upright. So, there's teamwork, gaining qualifications, um, building, not cutting corners. This is Capricorn energy. This is I achieve. This is ambition, um, pure ambition. So, what does Aquarius not want to be thinking about. So you don't want to be thinking about uh, a Leo. You don't want to think about uh, shedding light on secrets. You don't want to think about the dark days. Um, you don't want to think about travel. You don't want to think about self-esteem or self-expression. What is presently affecting Aquarius?
what is presently affecting Aquarius. Okay, so I have power, victory, breakthrough in a situation, new plans, new ideas, clarity of thought, a new outlook on life, a new mindset, um, new legal or medical um, problems or communication coming in. It's all about action, motion, the winds of change. There's communication here, the start, the inception of new communication. So when the past is affecting Aquarius's present, when the past is affecting Aquarius's present, when the past is affecting Aquarius's present, when the past Right. So there could have been an Aries. I have two cards that are of Aries, an Aries or a Leo. Uh, there's fire energy here or a Capricorn. Um, so we have the Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is sudden arrivals, um, great new beginnings, but there's no follow through. There's a lot of unfinished products here projects, there's a risk taker, very impulsive, there's a lot of emotional um, outbursts, being very mouthy, there's a flirt, a ladies man, a charmer, uh, he hates boundaries, but he's brave, bold, daring, he's all about conquest, and he's telling you to develop your potential, and then we have the three of wands, and the three of wands is turning your back on the past, looking towards the future, taking action, making a decision, leading the way, efforts have paid off. There's um, a lot of excitement and adventure here. And a lot of new growth. So what in the future is coming towards Aquarius? What in the future is coming towards Aquarius? What in the future is coming towards Aquarius? When the future is coming towards Aquarius. When the future is coming towards Aquarius. When the future. Right, so I have the Ace of Cups in the reverse and I have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Alright, so if you don't like the future, you can change it. That's why you get a tarot reading. The, the future is fluid. Um, it's changeable, it's moldable, it's adaptable. Uh, so the two of cups in the reverse is a breakup, an imbalance, there's a lack of harmony here. This is cancer energy, it's very manipulative, very moody, <coughs> easily offended, smothering, jealous, tied to the past. And then we have the five of pentacles, and this is financial or material loss, um, it could be a lost job, asking for help, uh, loneliness in a relationship, um, letting money define you, being a social outcast or a single parent, and this is Taurus energy, so this is very uh, patient, very steady, very solid, very stubborn. Um, very slow and methodical, um, easygoing. Why is the Ace of Cups in the reverse here? Why is the Ace of Cups in the reverse? Alright, so I have the six. Yeah, the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is moving away from conflict, distancing yourself from a bad situation, escaping abusive situations, returning to life after trauma. There's a rite of passage here, regretful but necessary transition, and that is your energy, that's Aquarius energy. But why is the Five of Pentacles here? Alright, so I have the Queen of Rods in the reverse, so that's also the Queen of Wands, which would be Aries energy. This is being weak, temperamental, there's uh, temper tantrums, hysterical, melodramatic, very controlling, pushy, demanding, 
self-centered, unfriendly, unhelpful, low self-esteem, lack of confidence, lack of energy, tired, worn out, nasty, jealous, manipulative, catty, sarcastic, spiteful, and disloyal. So there's an Aries who's acting like that in your life. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.